Hi, it's Steve with a Minute of Pain, brought to you by Firestorm Fit Camps and FirestormFitCamps.com. Today I want to talk to you about simplifying your life. I work with a lot of people who are seemingly just so busy. They've got so much going on. They never have time to get to the gym on time. They run a little late because they're so busy. They have so many things going on. And then they have to leave early. They don't get to stop and do what we do at the end of our training sessions, a little four minute finisher because they're so busy and they've got so many things to go do. My question to you is, are you just doing stuff or are you really busy? You know, there's a difference between things you've got to do and things you get to do. If you're just that busy, you're that frenzied, you're that frenetic, you're looking for a way to get stuff done, I'm wondering if you're too consumed about being busy rather than doing one thing at a time. Uh, I read a blog on a pretty regular basis by a guy named James Clear, and he talks about this, about being busy versus doing thing one, one thing at a time. And it, the mindset seems to be that, you know, look how busy I am. If I'm doing all this work, I must be doing something important. And by extension, I must be important because I'm so busy. When in reality, you're just, you're just doing stuff rather than doing things that are important. You're not prioritizing enough. So today I want to just, I want to encourage you just to simplify. Stop trying to do so much and do more by doing less. Prioritize that stuff. If you look down below, I've listed some resources for you to take a look at. A lot of them are just ways to simplify your life. One of them is from a guy named Lee Ivey that came about in the early 1900s. He gave it to Charles Schwab, who back then was a, a steel guy. He the guy was a steel manufacturer, looking for ways to get more productive. There's another thing by um, uh, Dwight Eisenhower, his, his priority or decision-making matrix. Uh, there's a, a couple of other tools down there that you can use. Pick one. Just pick one and decide to use it just for a week, 10 days, something like that. See if you can prioritize your life. One of my favorite authors in the world is a guy named Ed Cole. And Ed Cole said that life management begins with time management. And most people, me included, don't manage our time well enough. So if you'll take a little bit, read the list of things that I have down below, the articles, just peruse them. They'll give you some ideas on how you can manage your time better and stop feeling so rushed, stop feeling so frenetic. And should you get a little anxious, should you have an anxiety attack, I've even included a link down there for how to fix that. It's a very simple breathing technique that will calm you down, get you back on track, and, and let you get uh, back to work on things that really matter. Now you think about that. 